Hi Tubies, here's Alexander again, and what I'll show you today is how to properly weather a surface. This here, for example, is a part from a building, but you could also do this with tanks or every other structure that you would need to weather. What I've done here first was uh, priming this surface in black and then uh, coat it with uh, one coat of scorched brown. <coughs> what we will do first is then uh, paint the, um, the ground surface of this uh, structure <coughs> as a nice uh, rusty surface. And for that <coughs> you need uh, a blister sponge and uh, I've dipped it a little bit in pasture brown and now I will simply dip that, this uh, on the surface <coughs> to give it a nice rusty look. But not only pasture brown, we also use snake bite leather. Again, just simply take a little bit of that color, wipe it off. It's something similar to dry brushing. <laughs> and then dab it over the surface. You can see now that <coughs> we have here a nice rusty texture now. And now we take blazing orange and do the same thing. A little bit on the sponge, wipe most excess off, and then tap it on. It's very easy. ground structure for the rest. I will let that dry now and I'll be back in a second. So oh, this is dry now and what I do now is take pigments. For that instance I use dark red ochre from Vallejo pigments. <coughs> so then I use alcohol just a little bit from the palette. So that's enough. And then I simply take a little bit of the pigments into that. <coughs> so, and with that I will cover here and there again. And give it an even more rusty appearance. <clears throat> I simply take alcohol because, well, it dries a lot faster than water. So, and I think that's also enough. <clears throat> now I take some darker pigment uh, here, burnt umber. And I, do, I will do the same. Grabbing a little bit into the alcohol. So. And as I said before, what I am doing here is preparing the underground for the further things we will do for with this. So, I think that should be enough. <coughs> Close the pots again, so 
that we don't create accidents here. So, yeah, and I think that's a good enough underground. What I'll do now is prepare my airbrush and I'll be back in a second. Oh, there I am back. And what I do now is showing you the so-called salt and hairspray technique. For that instance, we need a little plastic cap and hairspray. Hairspray. Let's stuff directly here into the cap. And as you can see, I have now hairspray here in liquid form. And then I will put that directly into my airbrush. And I will spray the whole surface. I'm using the airbrush and not uh, the spray can itself because I have much more control where the hairspray is going than just with the spray can. On this side here I will take the salt technique and for that instance we need a little bit more hairspray. That wasn't enough. show you why we are doing this. Okay. On this side we need a good amount and now we need to be fast. So take the salt <coughs> and then you put it over the surface. And with a hairspray on it, <coughs> this will stick onto the surface. And we have created with this a salty stencil. <laughs> you see now? There you have all the salt on the surface. And we let that dry now, and I'll be back when this is done. <coughs> 